Good morning everybody. It is a super exciting day because I have just driven up to Warwickshire and I've been invited by the Riding for the Disabled Association, the RDA, to do some filming with ITV because it's their birthday. And so I've come here to the new centre. It's pretty much brand new. It is absolutely amazing it's my first time here and i'm so so excited i've been involved with the rda for wow over 20 years now oh my goodness i feel really old um but yeah i started my career at the rda at south bucks and uh and i've been heavily involved with the rda ever since and it's just the most amazing charity. I definitely wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for the RDA and all of the amazing people that have helped me along my journey. They're just the most incredibly supportive people and it doesn't matter whether you love riding for therapy or whether you want to get into sport riding or whether you just want to spend time with horses. It literally opens so many doors for anybody with any kind of disability um, and that's where I realised my passion for riding, for competing and then for dressage and yeah it's just awesome so uh, I'm going to show you around a little bit of my day-to-day -day here at the RDA Centre and uh, yeah can't wait to show you guys what it's all about. I need to just take a moment to appreciate this amazing building it's so awesome if you didn't know the RDA before they used to be at like an industrial business site um, so yeah to have this amazing building they've got a yard behind as well it's the first time the RDA head office has ever had horses and facilities for people to ride at so uh, yeah really awesome can't wait to go inside so here we are in the reception it's such a gorgeous place there's the office and then on this wall here you can see all of the people that have donated towards building this amazing centre. Lovely thank you board there. Then this is the offices. Hello everybody. Hi. Hi. <laughs> then we head into the boot room which is one of my favourite places actually. How cool is this? It's been sponsored by Child's Farm, who actually own half of Lottie as well. But how beautiful is this? It's got all of their cartoons. Such a gorgeous place. The kids absolutely love it in here. It's got the ponies. The tractor, love the pig, how cool is that? It's just the most beautiful area. And then out there at the stables. So out we go into the stable area. Straight ahead is the indoor school, but this is the lovely stable block that they've got here. This is a new pony, so he's in quarantine at the moment. And then at the moment they've got 10 horses and ponies here. And they've got plenty of riders that already ride here. They only opened the centre in April this year, so it's pretty new. And they've got a gorgeous outdoor school down there, which I'll go and show you. And then that is the whopping outdoor school. They said it is, I think, 40 metres by 60 metres with a lovely Andrews Bowen surface. Uh, Andrews Bowen also support me so uh, it's great to see that they're supporting the RDA as well they've just got the most amazing facilities here and then in there so I'm squinting now because the sun's in my eyes um, but in there is Charlie's stable and that is their mechanical horse so it's great for all of the riders here to sit on the mechanical horse and just be able to correct their position and you know be able to to feel some of the things that they might not feel on the ponies so that's fantastic for them and then I'll come and show you the indoor school this is the entrance to the indoor school it is literally right next to the outdoor and then they've got that lovely gallery area up overlooking the indoor and the outdoor which is just perfect the indoor is a 20 by 40 so let's show you around sorry for my wobbly camera skills so this is the tiki entrance i'm not sure if it's open okay there we go 
that is the lovely indoor school where they hold most of their lessons. So it's been a really awesome day. Um, I had such an amazing time at the RDA this morning. It was so good to see everybody. Um, I actually ended up riding one of their horses for the film. So that was really cool. Everything went well with ITV. Um, they actually put a GoPro on the hat and, uh, and filmed me riding and then filmed like a little bit more of me riding normally. Uh, and then I had an interview with them just chatting about the fact that it's their 50th birthday this year so it's really exciting they've also opened up the amazing center that I showed you and um, which was just so amazing to see around and it's so nice the horses are there now and people can actually go and ride the girls were saying in the office that you know before they were kind of stuck in four walls and now you know all of the kids come by and knock on the wall and say hi how you doing and they actually get some interaction with the horses and um, and the children and the adults are all benefiting from the RDA, which is really awesome. Um, but now I'm home. Uh, I had a little detour on the way home to the lady that paints my nails because I have got a photo shoot tomorrow with my amazing sponsors, Joe Hansford Photography. So I'm currently packing, excuse the dressing gown, um, I'm currently packing all of my stuff my room's a bit of a mess um, because I, I've got to head to the yard tomorrow morning for eight o'clock for hair and makeup and then the photo shoot will commence. Um, so I've got to take all of my stuff from home to my other home, the yard, and, uh, and then I like to have lots of choices of clothes to wear. So mostly it will be all of my Pekur clothing, um, but I might pop in a few other bits in there as well. I've got some really nice Holland Cooper clothing, so I might wear a few of those bits as well. And I've got my Fairfax and Favour boots, which are beautiful and they just go with everything. So uh, yeah, I'll be wearing those too. Uh, so keep an eye out. I will take you along with me so you can see what happens on a shoot but we're going to shoot my Christmas card as well I always send out a personalized Christmas card to all of my friends and family so we're going to be shooting uh, that tomorrow and um, so I won't give that away um, Mark my other half is cheering in the other half, uh, in the other room because he loves having his picture taken um, but yeah really exciting day tomorrow and can't wait to show you guys what I'm up to so good night for now